See, these are all things that we're going to have to come back to when you think you can handle them. Because they're going to give us big clues that we need to know. Okay, let's have a... Uh... Fucking robot. What the hell? Yes, Angela. Yes. It was pretty obvious that it was probably one of them when they'd all been thrown around and had the heads ripped off. Ouch. Tex, that's your job. Can you please do it properly? Okay. So, yeah. And that explains it. Red Scorpions blocked this off so they couldn't be detected. Snuck in to the cave, set themselves up here. I wonder if there's another way in and out other than this way and the way we came in. Uh, Tinker, is it? Who's got the toaster skill? Ralphie. Come on, show us what's in there. Yeah. A lamp. Okay. No idea if that's any useful. Anyway, yes, we have two problems. Problem one, number one. A... Is that a robot? Somebody blew it up. Yes, Ralphie, Angela just said that. So we've got a synthetic robot again that we can deal with. That came in here and ripped everybody's heads off. We've got a... Was it a safe? What was it? Did she only had a small chance with that? Yeah, twenty-eight percent of that. So Tinker is in need of some leveling up. She needs what was it? Computer science. She needs computer science to find out what's going on with the synth. She needs mechanical repair to try and make a better job of fixing the engine uh, no, we got it on but it's just spewing smoke at the minute and she needs safe cracking to get into that vault there so I think we will be coming back here once she's uh, had a bit more training let's get out of here okay right in that case, what jobs do we have left? We have... Well, we need to go downstairs, don't we? Yeah, we need to go downstairs. And... What was it? Tell... Tell the bloke about his dog, his soulmate dog. And while we're here, we need to stick the repeaters on here, don't we? Who's got the repeaters? Okay, who's got the repeaters? And okay, Zed, why do I just... Yes, it's you. Yeah, give it to... Mm. Rex a second. Okay. Let's get the repeaters. And attach one to this. Okay. Yes. Affirmative, sir. Roger, Echo One. We just received the high pool relay signal. Looks like everything's hooked up correctly. We should be. Go on. The gift I want to pass on to you the weak, the downtrodden, the persecuted and enslaved. Come hmm. to the new Citadel, join our Brotherhood, and you too will wear the armor of the evolved. You too will be immortal. Invulnerable, untouched by disease or age for all time. You will be a perfect being, 
ready to lead the world into a golden future of light, beauty, and... God's mercy is in the bullets of our guns, brothers and sisters. Okay. It is in the tips of our bayonets. It is in the death of every sinner who is too blind to turn to the light. Every time we end a life in this God-forsaken world, we end misery and bring peace. So, I say unto you, friends, praise the Lord and... Damn it, Woodson! I did not want that to go out over the air! Sorry about that, Echo One. Good job, you're halfway there. Please proceed to Ag Center ASAP. We're still getting SOS calls from that location. Again, deal with the emergency first. The radio tower second. Copy? Copy. Roger, Echo One. Ranger command out. Okay, so we've got crazy... Uh, crazy people, basically. Okay. Yeah, I ain't speaking to you. Everybody on here. That's not everybody on here. Let's go. Right. I wasn't speaking to Mr. Positivity. But what we are going to do is go and speak to Mr. Stoned out of his head. Where is he again? And then we're going to head... Well, we're going to do... I think what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Ag Centre first. Then we're going to swing around to the Wrecking Crew. And then we're going to come back here. Yeah, I mean, we've dealt... I mean, the Wrecking Crew must be a few days of walk away, so... We've dealt with their main attack force, I reckon. It's going to take them a while to regroup, decide who they're going to send next. Which means that while they're doing that, we can have a quick pop in on the Ag Centre. And I know that, was it Kathy? Was it Kathy Lawson or something? Her name was on the radio. She was saying, don't come, everybody's dead. But the SOS signal is still functioning according to Vargas. So we're going to do what the General said and head over there and hope that somebody is still alive to save no, we've done that we've done that what did nah yeah what did the dog give us again was it a stone or a ball or something hey well yeah 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 we found just so mate he gave us this Pictures worth a thousand man, words, man, but this is deep. Souls pure light, totally brilliant, right on, man. Hey, Mikasa Sukasa, man, I've got a great stash of your life passes constructed here for you, man. Show us your stash. The umbrella or oh, never revolver, basic trauma, dosage, pain, killers, and nail board. How are we doing for stuff to sell, though? Do we have junk to sell? Yes, we do. Do we have anything else to sell? I don't know. I mean, miniature leg lamp was out of the toaster. Is that for something specific? Glass eye. So that was a junk, was it? Snake squeezins. How, that was a good question. How many basic trauma kits have we got? Okay, we've got... <laughs> we've got 18 of them, have we? Yes, and... We've only got two medics, so who's carrying some that they don't need? Yeah, we should We should have enough. Yeah, we don't need your revolver, mate. We've already got one of those. I mean, if you had something better, maybe, but hey. See you later. Yeah, bye-bye. Okay, so who's carrying stuff they don't need or they can't carry? Why are you carrying... Never mind. Give it to Tex. 
give that to texture. Thank you. Legend of the Red Ra Why have you got shotgun shells? And why have you got ammo? What the... All of it. And... Uh, you know, I really am wondering whether we should start... Giving you something else to do. Skill points per level. I mean, it's going to take forever for you to get anything else started. Maybe we just keep going for brawling and let you hit things. Brawling, animal, whisperer, and toaster repair. How can we do these two? Let's put one into that one. We start getting in trouble with it. And. Hmm. <laughs> nah. Dry throat again. Let's have a quick sip. Let's see. Brawling, animal repair, animal whisperer. Yeah, just... Every time we encounter an animal, let's try and uh, get it on our team. That's how you're going to be useful to us. Yep. Let's get going then. Hmm. Pardon me. Right, where are we going? Yeah, Jess, we haven't found Jess Bell's stuff, so it's back to the wasteland, basically. Uh. Yep. Well, let's just do that. Disarm them. Yeah, we did. Through the middle. Nobody else knocking about. No. No. And... No, we're good. Right. Time to travel. Okay, that's the Ag Center, isn't it? Okay, let's head over there. In fact, let's head... Oh, uh... We should be able to have it. We should have enough water to get there. Shall we? What's that? 12 water? We'll have enough. Go on. Go fill up over there. No, we could have filled up a high pool, but we know we're close enough to there. Right. Fill it up. 80 on the water. Handy when you buy that backpack. Okay, get over here. Come on. Let's see what the situation... Oh, dangerous pack of infected animals approaching. No, let's, let's go in and try an animal. Whisper them. As long as it's possible. Okay, where are they? Right, run over here and everybody get down. See if we can keep ourselves hidden. Right, on your own, Ralphie, come forward. You are the animal whisperer. So let's do some whispering. A giant rabbit. And a superfly. What the hell is a superfly? Okay, giant rabbit. It's a mammal. Isn't this what you're good at? Easy. 100% simple. Ooh. Nice. Uh, run up there. Run up there. Okay. Uh, no, no. That's not what I wanted. Okay. Ouch. Uh, we're in no position to kill it. So let's just go into ambush mode. Whoa, there's a lot of them. There's definitely a lot of them. Okay, where's Ralph? Are they attacking each other? 
Oh, no, oh, he's trying to shoot. <laughs> right, let's try this again. Come on, come on, be friendly. Yeah. You can be friendly now, can't you, boy? Come on. So is, it, is it on our team? Does that mean it's on our team? See, let's run away now. And let's put you in ambush mode. Ambush mode. Apparently not. So we have to do animal whisper it before it sees us. Okay. Fine. Well, let's just stick in ambush mode and he can leg it back down here. Can you reach any of them yet? No. Ambush mode. Missed. Didn't miss. Now we did that. Come on. One of you. There we go. Seriously? Wet weapon jams. Okay, run over here. And ambush mode. 67, 67. Oh, shoot that one. Seriously? Thank you. Hit the bunny on the head with the stick. Thank you. And yeah, crouch to evade. Shoot that. Thank you. Anything else? No. Right, ambush mode. Unjam your gun, please. And well, that's it. And you're done. Come on, buzz buzz. Shoot that. You can't see it. Lovely. Oh, you can't reach it. I'm sorry, Tinker. I thought you was Angela. Uh, can you reach it now? Shoot it, please. Well done. And... You come over here and punch it, please. Seriously. Right. You finish the job. Well, that was a shame. Ralph, we'll have to work on your stealth. Was that it? Oh, there's one here. Do they not give us anything? No? Fine. Oh, it's because we're still on solo mode. Okay. No. Right, let's get out of here. Carry on to the Ag Centre. What? See a dangerous pack of infective animals? No, no. <sighs> Prepare for combat. Okay, fine, fine. Ah, well, we'll try again then. Uh, if we can figure out where they are. Okay. What we want to do is get everybody in cover apart from Ralphie who's going to try and sweet talk but see the fly's dead easy but I reckon the bunnies do more damage ooh okay one percent critical chance go on go 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 come on can you do it can you do it before you get seen yes is the bunny on our team then no yes maybe I don't know apparently not okay ouch Oh, there's two of them. Uh, no, nah, just ambush them. Seriously? 
Seriously. Okay. Uh, punch that, please. No, I said punch it. Well, that works in your favour. Alright, get over here. Hit that one. Give it a go. Apparently not. You're not close enough. Uh, righty then. You run over there. Ambush mode. Let's see if it comes near enough to you. 62%. Missed. Try again. Got it. You're welcome. You're not close enough either. Go over there. Not close enough, not close enough. Ambush mode. Oh, we forgot to reload. Terrible. Terrible, he says. Shoot. Thank you. Missed. I got this, she says. Good. Well done, Angela. Ambush mode and... You could punch that, but it's took a bit of your health away, so instead of risking getting killed, why don't you just drag it down here, and we'll ambush it. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's go there. And go into ambush mode as well. Right. There we go. Any more bunnies are... Oh, there's two up there. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, the way out is over there. Well, that was... Uh, not that interesting. Actually, what's... Uh, what's Ralphie's health before we get out of there? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, wrong button. You do it. Heal Ralphie, please. Yes, thank you. Let's, let's go to the Ag Centre. Right, we made it. Just about. Do you want to enter the Ag Centre? Confirm. Okay, what we know about this place is that it's rather dangerous, so... Something about mutated plants, so keep your guard up. Watch where you're standing. This place is creepy. Obviously, lad, obviously. Is that... Somebody inside a tree? Kathy, oh, Kathy Lawson. Hello. Fuck you, Fuck. Rangers. Are you? What happened? Yeah. What the fuck was the point of showing up now? Ag Center is destroyed. The cure is lost, and I'm about to be eaten by a fucking tree. Oh. Okay, um, okay, we're doing our job, ma'am, answering your distress call. Yeah, she's not in the mood for that kind of answer. We're helping Hypool. We came as fast as we could. Not fast enough, jerks. God damn it, I thought Ag Center and Ranger Citadel had a deal. Wasn't it? We give you food, you give us protection. Well, you're looking pretty goddamn well fed. But we got our asses handed to us by killer tomatoes for eight hours and not a ranger in sight. Uh, yes, but they also get had to deal with us of they give us water and we give them protection, so we have to choose. And what about the killer tomatoes? And killer pumpkins. 
and killer fruit flies, all of a sudden, all our plants started growing out of control, mutating, exploding, attacking my people. It, it's like they went rapid or something. Your people are dead. I'm, I'm going to assume, yes? Matt and Rose and I managed to get to safety, but the researchers and the farmers, I watched them die one by one on the monitors while you water balls were off circle jerking each other. And for some of them, it was even worse. Uh, what's worse than death? You haven't seen them yet? They're wandering all through this jungle. Those were our people, our friends, and now they're, I don't know what they are, pod people. Yeah, you're going to have to, what? How do they become pod, you'll have to explain that one, pod people. I don't know how it works. Somehow the infection gets into their nervous systems, changes their physiology and makes them lash out at any uncontaminated people around them. So you made the plants uh, you made the plants into sentient monster plants that want to go around breeding by turning people into mush. Well done. What happened to them? We discovered that the plants were going insane because of some contamination in the fertilization system, rapidly mutating fungal spores. Okay. Rose thought it was deliberate sabotage, but I'm not sure. If it any consolation, it probably is, because we've just seen a robot synth body at high level, and you have no idea what I'm going on about, but look. There was trouble with robots 15 years ago, and we've seen two so far at two places with trouble. So, yeah, you could have been sabotaged by a faction that's using robots again. Not that that matters to you now while you're being dissolved by a tree. Whatever it is, all the vegetation started growing out of control and mutating. The insects, too. They're enormous. And this madness may have spread. Oh, how far do you think this could have spread? One of our researchers, a, a boy named Sue, fed some of our pigeons spore infected seeds and sent them off. I saw him on the monitors, but couldn't stop him. If those pigeons shit those seeds in other places, the infection, <sighs> the infection will spread. The trouble is, I have no idea where the pigeons went. You're just going to have to listen for trouble on your radios. Great! If you find the serum, save some for any distress calls you get. What do they use pigeons for? Well, they use them for guano, don't they? Manure. Uh... Yes, this serum. Rose and I made a big batch of the stuff and filled the spray gun with it. I tried to escape with it so I could come back when I was healed up and wipe out the infection. But I got chased by the pod people and dropped it somewhere between here and the facility door. There's no cure in the Ag Center, but if you find any of the areas that have been infected, you can drop it in their irrigation system. Just find a big reservoir. So stick it in any water sources in any area where the infection may be. Okay. And this uh, cure, yeah? This is what you're saying this serum is, yeah? A cure. We found a cure, but too late. Way too late. Matt was too far gone by then. Everybody was. Rose tried to take a canister of the serum to the nutrient reservoir tanks in the east greenhouse so we could feed it to the plants and stop their growth, but she didn't make it. A bunch of the pod people blew her to pieces and now the 
whole area is completely unreachable. So Rose is dead. We heard on the radio Matt's dead. So there's no point asking you about them. What can you tell me about the Ag Center? It's destroyed. Uh, you're not going to enjoy us asking you that. Uh, any insight in these insects? Probably not. Opinion on suing pigeons? Don't care. Look, we think it's probably since, but do you think there was someone from the Ag Center behind this? I hope not. I don't want to think that anyone here would do this. We're a happy family. We all want the same thing. To make the wasteland green again. Okay, well I shall leave you in peace to die. Goodbye. Go on. Go. Find the canister of serum. Kill these damn plants. Oh God, it's contracting again. My ribs. Nope, she was already dead. No putting her out of her misery, she was already dead. Ah. I suspect she won't be there long. She looks like she's dissolving from the inside out. She's a hell of a way to go. Okay. Pod, she was talking about. And in, yes, these things. The pods explode, she said, or something like that. Okay. You don't get too close. Uh, I think what we're going to have to do here, gang, is we're going to have to do this as sensibly as we can. Let's have a quick look at our resources. Angela has two bullets. Plus, she's on 16. I am on... I should say Rex is on 25 and he's carrying 19 spares. Anybody else carrying? Why are you carrying that? Never mind. Give it to Angela. All of it. Okay. Okay. Well, it's obvious what we're going to do here. We're going to take up position to protect this area and stop anybody else from coming in. Uh, Tinker, you're going there. And Angela. Uh, and Tex there please okay do not let anybody in guys this sounds far too dangerous to risk the whole team and as the leader it's my responsibility yeah I think what we're going to do is we're going to blow the pods up and then when the critters come to kill us I'm going to lead them back to you and you are going to ambush them because it's the pods that are infectious not the critters yeah that's the gist of it <laughs> what could possibly go wrong what comes after the end